Guys, uh, when I painted these wheels, I noticed that our back brakes were really thin. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's almost like no pad left. So I just want to make a quick video uh, showing how to change the brakes. I'm going to do the front and the back on a KX85. Once we get our caliper guard off, um, we're just going to uh, loosen up our brake slides with these two pins right here. So you get an Allen uh, screw and you can you can pull them out or you can just loosen them. But you want to do it before you take out um, your main bolts here and here because these might not you might not be able to get these out if you're holding the caliper in your hand. So use the leverage of having it bolted to the bike, break these loose and then take these ones off. So we just slide out those two pins, the uh, pads fall out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to compress our um, the piston in the brake so that there's going to be space to accommodate the new pads because the new pads are going to be a lot thicker than the old ones. Now don't throw out your old pads just yet. There's going to be this clip on the back of your um, your pad that's going to have to go on your new or it's um, going to go on your new pads. And I like to take our pins, and just clean them off with some steel wool. These are all pitted and messed up. You might want to replace them. Now before you get to putting your caliper back together, just make sure that your caliper slides move. They're not bound up. If they are, they sell rebuild kits. Um, where you can actually get new boots and everything. And uh, new, new caliper slides so that these move freely. These ones are okay, they're a little bit tighter than I like, but they're not bound up, they're going to work just fine. Just make sure all your boots are good. Um, even if you don't want to buy the rebuild kit, sometimes if you just take them apart and clean out the old grease and grit and stuff, because a lot of times what happens is water gets in there and then they seize up. Um, but you just want to make sure, like I said, that all these boots are on and they're not dry rotted and ripping apart and um, that everything moves. Otherwise, your brakes are gonna be dragging and you're gonna be losing performance on your bike. Now we're gonna take a C-clamp and we're gonna use this to compress our piston. Now we'll have plenty of room for our new pads. So now we're gonna put our new pads in. Take them like so. The metal clip goes towards the piston. And you can look in your holes here and line up the brakes. And what you do is you push up on them with your thumb because there's a spring up there that pushes the brakes down. Then you take your pins, and remember, before you put these pins in, take a little bit of brake grease and coat them. Just like a nice thin coat. One. And 
two. And before you screw these in, we're gonna put a little bit of Loctite on them so they don't back out. And what we're gonna use is the blue Loctite. Now you can put your caliper back on. Open these up as much as you can so you can fit your disc in there. Now we're gonna lock tight our caliper bolts. Give them a good snug. And then we'll put our caliper guard back on. So that's that guys, pretty easy job. Um, just don't forget to use your blue Loctite on your part or on your uh, bolts and uh, make sure that your caliper slides are smooth before you put them back on and don't forget to bleed your brakes as well. I'll probably have another video on that. Um, but yeah guys, that's all. By the way guys, if you like these black wheels in, on this bike, uh, check out my other video. I have a um, some tips on how to paint your wheels and make them uh, basically look like they came that, that way from the factory. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Appreciate you all watching. I'll see you in the next video.